Hi, this is Helena Hart, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about what to do if you're feeling impatient in your love life. And this could really work in any area of your life, but I've just been hearing from so many women lately who are having a hard time being patient, perhaps if they're in a new relationship and they're feeling urgent about whether or not things are going to unfold the way they want them to. Or, you know, if you've been single for a long time and you're feeling impatient because you've been dating and meeting a lot of men, but you just haven't found that right man for you yet. Or even if you're in a long-term relationship or married and you're having a hard time being patient with your man. These are things I hear from women all the time. So hopefully this will be helpful for you no matter where you're at in your love life. But before I get started, if you're new to my channel, click the button to subscribe to get all of my videos on how to have the relationship you want. So this is something that's really hard for me personally. For those of you who have been watching my videos for a while, you probably know that. Sometimes I feel like, you know, my lesson in this life is to learn patience. It can be really hard, you know, and I just know so many women can relate to that as well. I've really found that this sense of urgency that goes along with feeling impatient is one of the top problems I see that prevents women from creating this attraction and connection and getting what they want in their love life. Urgency is like this top problem I see. Anytime you feel the need to like make a decision or know something or figure something out or have something happen right now, you know you're going into urgency. Your masculine energy is going urgent and starting to run you by fear. And that's a big clue that you know, you're either your masculine energy is going unemployed, it needs something else to do rather than think about this man or this relationship, or, you know, you're just being run by your fear. And I could just talk forever about this. I actually recorded a, uh, an interview with Nicole Elisa recently on how to be patient so you can get what you want in your love life. And I'll be posting that one soon. But for the purposes of this video, there's a couple questions I want you to ask yourself here that will hopefully help you calm this sense of urgency so you can kind of let things unfold organically, which makes you super attractive to all men, really, especially that right, right man for you, if he's a masculine energy man, especially. So first question is, do you think it's possible to miss your mark, so to speak? In other words, do you think it's possible to want something and not be able to get it for some reason that's outside of your control. So, you know, if you have a desire for a really, you know, amazing, fulfilling relationship, but you feel like you might not be able to get that for whatever reason, you're going to feel a sense of urgency. So great question to ask yourself. I talk about this in my video on uh, the two mindsets that make you super attractive to a man. I'll post a link to that in the description. In case you haven't seen that video, that should help you a lot with this one. Do you think it's possible for you to miss your mark? So what you wanna do here is show yourself that you've done this before. You've wanted something in your life and you've been able to achieve it or experience it, right? And the next question I want you to ask yourself is do you think it's possible to take longer than you want, right? What your soul wants or what the larger part of you wants and this one is the one that's kind of tricky for me. I've shown myself over and over that if there's something I want, I can easily attract it or experience it. I call that the feminine art of attraction, tapping into your feminine energy in a way that just draws everything you want to you. Did a whole program on that. And so for me, that first question is really easy, but the second one kind of gets me, you know, do you think it's possible to take longer than you want? So, I always talk about how, you know, the reason we want anything, whether it be a great relationship or lots of money and success or an amazing career, anything is because we think we're going to feel good when we get it, right? And I really believe that our reason for having desires is for the fun and the journey along the way when it, you know, going from where you are now to where you want to be. And I just have so much to say about this. So if you have any questions on some of these concepts, let me know in the comment section and I can clarify it a little bit or even make a new video because it's just so important. 
So if you can show yourself that you can feel good right now, before that thing shows up in your life, before the right man for you shows up or before your relationship improves, that's when things can start to fall into place and that will help with this impatience, right? So think about how you wanna feel in your relationship or with your ideal man. See if you can get some of those feelings down inside of your body. This will give your masculine energy something to do. In other words, what would you need from yourself in order to feel safe and secure and cherished and loved and adored? Rather than you know, looking so urgently to a man to try to give you those feelings or trying to like pull them out of a man who's not freely giving them to you, you've ever tried that, you know that it doesn't work. That just pushes a man further away. See if you can give those feelings to yourself first. Then you're going to be going out there in the world, radiating those things out and attracting them back towards you. So that's your main focus. Just how do you want to feel in your ideal relationship or in any area of your life? I'd really encourage you to write some of those things down and see if you can just start feeling them right now. And then you're going to kind of forget about it, go about your day and watch the universe or God or whatever, you know, whatever your belief system is. Fill in those details for you. So you want to stop trying to fill things in on your own by trying to make something happen constantly, especially in dating and relationships. That just keeps you stuck in your masculine energy. It does the opposite of build attraction and connection with the man. It keeps him at arm's length, right? So if you can just start giving some of these feelings to yourself, gives you something to do where you're not focusing so hard on this end result. And that will help you release that attachment to the outcome or the result so that the right man for you will just show up and come towards you or your man will start to see you in this whole new way where it just, it's like a pressure valve that gets released, just takes the pressure completely off of him and the relationship. And then you can watch what he does from there. Does he step up in the relationship? Does he come towards you and want to meet your needs and make you happy? Then you can like watch him a little more dispassionately to where you're not always trying to make something happen and look for the next step or wonder where you stand with him. So those are the two questions I want you to ask yourself if you're starting to feel impatient. The first one is, do you think it's possible to miss your mark? or to want something and not be able to get it. Second question is, do you think it's possible to take longer than you want? And, you know, type your answers into the comment section. There's no right or wrong answers, but what I wanna, you know, kind of shine a light on here is your answers to these questions is gonna give you a lot of information about, you know, are you being run by fear? If you think it's possible to want something and not be able to get it, I mean, that just feels terrible. To me, that's one of the worst feelings in the world, wanting something and doubting it. It's, to me, it's just such a terrible feeling. So you want to look at some of these beliefs. Look at what beliefs are operating within you and kind of running the show. So I'd love to do some more videos on this, but I'd love to hear your answers to those two questions. And maybe in a future video, I can help, um, after seeing some of your comments and questions, help you kind of calm down the sense of urgency and get to a place where you're enjoying the journey, where you're not so attached to the outcome or the result of every single interaction with the man. And as an added bonus, this all makes you super irresistible, just so magnetic to not only your man or the right man for you, but really to all of your desires, to everything you want in life. So I hope this was helpful for you. I'll post a link to the Feminine Art of Attraction if anyone's interested in that program. That's using your feminine energy to attract everything you want in life towards you. We focus on men and money in that program, but it really works in any area of your life. And I'm getting some great feedback from the women who have joined that program. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video.